Hello everyone, welcome to the session. In this session, we are going to discuss about payment integration methods. We will discuss how the website or merchant sends the payment data to the payment gateway or payment service provider. Suppose this is the website. This is website and website is integrated with particular payment gateway or payment service provider this is your payment gateway when customer enters the payment details the credit card or debit card the website sends the detail to the payment gateway or payment service provider for payment processing there are three ways or methods through which website can send the payment data to the payment service provider or payment gateway and those methods are called the payment integration methods so let's see the payment integration methods one by one the first one is hosted order page hop or hop silent order post sop and the direct integration so let's discuss all these three methods one by one first let's see the direct integration suppose this is the website server the web server where the website is running and here the customer browser this is the browser Customer has opened the website. Suppose this is abc.com. So the request would, would go to the web server. Web server will return the response or details to the browser and browser will show the page to the customer. Suppose customer is placing an order and the customer enters the payment details. Whether it's a debit card or credit card when customer will submit the details on the website the details would be sent to the web server the payment details payment details payment details is sent to the web server and then web server will make the api call to the payment service provider or payment gateway so this is the api call in the api call details related to payments credit card number cvv everything would be present and that would be shared or sent to the psp payment service provider and payment service provider will check that detail will authenticate that details payment detail and accordingly it will return the response to the server and based on the based on the response of the psp the website so the result to the customer whether it is successful or failed now here one thing is important all the sensitive information related to payment the credit card number the cvv the expiry date all the details are going to the merchant server this is the merchant server basically where the website is running then merchant server is sending the details to the psp for the payment processing so this is the direct integration where the merchant sending the details to psp using api in this integration method it is the responsibility of the merchant to secure the sensitive information of the customer credit card number cvv number all these sensitive information and also merchant should be pci dss compliant it should follow all the standards of pci also in this integration method the merchant can control the layout layout of payment page because this page is coming from the merchant web server only so merchant can control the layout control the css look and feel of this 
payment page payment page is the one where customer enters the details of the payment the credit card details or debit card details so the look and feel can be controlled by the merchant so these are the important things about direct integration now let's see the second integration method sop silent order post so let's discuss silent order post sop so here is the web server where website is running this is the customer browser and the customer has opened particular website you can say abc.com this is the e-commerce website suppose customer is on the checkout page particular the payment page payment page and the customer has entered the payment related details the debit card details or credit card details when customer will submit the detail that details would be submitted to PSP from the browser like this this is the payment service provider or payment gateway and the payment and detail submitted to PSP directly from browser itself technically in the HTML form the URL would be the endpoint of the PSP so when customer would submit the form that request would be goes to the PSP with the payment details so when PSP will receive the request all the payment details it will validate the detail and then accordingly it will return the response to the browser and then browser would send the detail to the or send the response to the web server like this and based on the response of the PSP the order would be rejected or placed if you compare this with the first integration method direct integration you will find that in the first integration method the payment detail is submitted to the web server first then web server through the api call send the detail to the psp but here in sop from the browser itself the detail is payment detail is submitted to the psp and here also the payment page layout payment page layout the look and feel css is controlled by the merchant similar to the first integration method if you are using this silent order post method then the merchant need not to be pci dss compliant but in the first integration method direct integration the merchant should be pci dss compliant but in this integration method it is not necessary that merchant should be pci compliant and the reason being all the payment details is first being forwarded or submitted to the psp so it is the responsibility of the psp secure or protect the information of the customer payment details psp is always pci compliant in the response of this uh, psp returned the subscription id or token id for the future communication like for the author authorization or recurring payment we can use the token id or subscription id so this is how the silent order post works now let's discuss hosted order page hop in the first two integration methods direct integration and silent order post the payment page payment wage comes from the merchant from the web server of merchant what i mean is that page payment page is controlled by the merchant only but here in HOP the case is different this payment page comes from PSP means this payment page is not controlled by the 
merchant it is controlled by the psp so the merchant will not be able to modify the look and feel of payment page or the layout of the payment page because that is coming from the psp and the psp can change the layout or change the look and feel so that is the one difference if we compare first two integration methods with this hop now question arises how the psp controlled payment page is displayed to the customer so there are two ways first is the using the iframe using the iframe second is the using the redirect so in the iframe the psp payment page is loaded in the iframe and iframe would be part of the page coming from the this web server and another technique is redirect when customer will select the payment method then browser would redirect customer to the psp control payment page so that is the simple redirection technique once the psp payment page is displayed to the customer customer would enter the detail on that page related to payment either the debit card details or credit card details then customer would submit the detail when is the customer submit the details the details would be submitted to the psp directly this is the payment detail and then psp will validate the detail and then do the further processing and then will return the response to the browser and browser will send the same to the web server and then web server will perform the further check so this is the whole process if the merchant is using this type of integration method then merchant need not to be pci dss compliant this is similar to the silent order post the reason being the payment details is submitted to the psp directly the payment details is not going to the web server this hosted order page is similar to silent order post only difference is payment page in sop silent order post the payment page is come from web server or controlled by the merchant but here in hop the page comes from psp and is controlled by the psp only this is about hosted order page if you are interested to know more about payment processing i already created the playlist with few videos you can check those videos you can go through you will understand so many things so that's all for this session thanks for watching see you in the next video